Okay, now we're looking at uh, sampling methods in statistics and um, looking at the different kind of ways you can do it. Now, this is only, we're only just touching on a couple with this screencast, but there are a lot of other ones, but we're going to have a look at a few. So let's have a look at our little population here. I've just made up a bit of a population of, um, of people. And you can see that we've got a mixture of boys and girls. So this is our group. Now, we need to choose how to sample these people. We've already talked about the appropriate size of a sample, but now we need to talk about um, how do we actually do a sample and what's a method we can use that's going to give us good, reliable data at the end. So if you look at our population, we've got 15 people, uh, four of which are female and the rest are male. So we need to work out how to sample this group so that our, our little sample that we grab is representative of the population and also that it is a random sample so that everyone has an equal chance of being selected. So let's have a look at a couple of methods. Systematic sampling is, is pretty good. So what you do is you um, allocate a number to every person in the group through here and then you go through and uh, put their names on say a, a stack of cards like along here. So each of these cards would have a different name on it. And then you might uh, randomly choose the first one. So your random choice for the first one might be the third card. And then you might keep on saying, okay, every fourth card from there, you will get and sample. Which means that your first one is a random choice. Our random choice is the third one. And then from there, we're going to say, systematically, we're going to pick every fourth person. So if we have a look at what it would look like in real life, so we'd pick the third one to start with. And then what we'd do is we'd go through and get the fourth one after that. One, two, three, four. So we'd grab that one there, and then we'd keep on repeating it. This is called systematic because it's a system that we are following until we get our sample size. This sometimes is also linked to a thing called quota sampling where we keep on following the system until we get the number of people we need to to have a representative sample. So that's one. Now you might be saying, well that's pretty cool, but we've got more boys and girls in this sample, so surely we need to be looking at that uh, in terms of our uh, method that we use. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at a thing called stratified sample. So let's have a look at this. We've got this population. If we chose four people from the sample and just grab those four there, that's not going to be representative of the whole population because there are four girls there and one male, which means that if you look at the rest of the whole population, that sample is quite wrong because there are more males and females in the sample. So therefore that needs to be taken into account. So the characteristics of the population need to be taken into account and that's where a stratified sample can do it. So let's look at uh, an, an example. So let's say we've got a population which has 36 um, males and 22 females, which gives us um, our population in total will then be 58 because we're just adding the two of them together. So if we're going to look at our males, we'd need to have 36 out of the 58 are males and of the females as 22 out of the 58. Now our sample size is 15. And then this will give us the number of people from that group, from each group that we have to kind of survey. So when we work that out on the calculator, you'll end up getting 9.31 for the males and 5.69 females. Now you, you obviously realise that you can't have 0.31 or 0.69 of a person. So therefore, we, we've got to round up. So we round off to nine males and we then round up to six females. Okay, which is, is cool. And you add the two of them up to get 15, so that's right. But notice how we've got more males than females, which is the same as what our population is. Now those that sample of nine and six is in randomly chosen, and you've got yourself a sample, which is representative of the population, that is randomly chosen and is big enough to suit a sample size that's going to give you data that is usable when you come to analyse it.